Welcome back to The Connect. This is episode four. Uh, I'm excited. As you can tell, today we have a, a new spot. We're at uh, Blur Studios. Shout out Blur Studios. The official spot now. The official spot, you're right, of uh, The Connect. And uh, as you know, or if you're new to this channel, my name is Christian. Alongside me, we have Alex and Brian. And today we got a treat for you guys. And we'll let our guests introduce themselves. My name is Melissa Alvarez. What's the IG? What's the IG? Oh, IG is Essa Melissa Alvarez. ESA, Melissa Alvarez. We'll type it right here. I'm Natasha Kishmirian. In the mic, in the mic. Oh, I'm <laughs> Natasha Kishmirian, and I have two IGs, uh, Keys with Natasha, at Keys with Natasha, and then at Nat Keza, N-A-T-K-E-Z-A. Oh, you're good. You don't have to talk it to me. I fix it to where it's on the set, oh, so we're good. Bad. So we're good, right? Yeah, we're sure. Yeah, you can leave it right where it's oh, okay. at. Yeah, we're good. all set. Good. <laughs> yeah, well, before before we start, I want to thank everybody who's been sharing the the podcast um, on TikTok, on Instagram. For we're, sure. We're almost 500 on Instagram. We actually Woo! have a nice. giveaway. Uh, thank oh, you. Yeah. Uh, it's like them. a $300 giveaway or some Volcano Bay tickets. Two tickets, two tickets. You and your bay, you and your bay. I, I think <laughs> bay. And we'll do a live, but we'll describe that a little later. For sure. Um, but, yo, today we have, uh, the I would say, the right guest for the high, right. High-valued woman. High-valued woman thank here. You. And you. we're going to we're gonna go into detail of what a high-valued woman is. And the perfect examples are some... Uh, women that we were able to go ahead go ahead no because okay one thing i want to say like i have a mentor you guys i don't know if you guys have mentors but a lot of girls they don't know what a mentor is like i I don't think they've been like shine the light on a mentor so Mm -hmm. you guys could be like these girls mentors yeah Yeah. Yeah. you need a mentor in this life i have a mentor you have a mentor too right but the first question right we're just gonna get it out of the way what's your definition each and you know you guys could take turns because I want both of you guys' opinions. What's your definition of a high-valued woman? High-valued woman? Boss, yeah, when you think of the high phrase high-valued woman. Ooh, say that. Say boss that. Boss-ass bitch. Having something to bring to the table. Yes. What do you think? Like, as far as, like, women, what do you think? Like, as far as high-valued women, this isn't just regular women, right? I know. Well, I know there's different definitions, and I know that term's been being thrown around a lot lately. High-valued sure. men, high-valued women. And everyone has their own definition of that. But I would bounce off of what she said, and it's... Basically, like, being able to take care of yourself, having different hustles, like she said, not depending on other people, and having something to bring to the table besides just your looks. Like, you know, you want to have substance. You want to be able to, you know, have something long-term in your mm-hmm. life, you know. You want to be able to... Especially for your kids. Be valuable. Your like, family. you're an asset. It's about yeah. being an asset. Like, mm-hmm. and that's what business, that's what life, like... In order to succeed in life, you have to be an asset. So what what can you bring to the table that sets you apart? So what do you what do you feel like like as a high valued woman, right? So think of it as like you're getting into a relationship and you know what you have to mm-hmm. offer as a high valued woman. What do you feel like as a high value woman? You like what do you bring? What do you guys bring to the table? Like, are y'all Did taking? You, yeah, yeah. You, y'all making you, money. You guys are. It's about, be, it's you know about being a good team. Now we're talking about relationships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, sure. yeah. Like, I'm saying, well, I would like, say it's about being a good teammate. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you know, life is hard. Life be life in. Mm-hmm. So sometimes your man, <laughs> life be yeah, Shout sometimes your man, something life will happen with your man situation. And it's like, can you ha- have his back in that moment? Right. We could bring some of that financial peace. Yeah. Like, hey, like we're as women, we are nurturers. We are supposed to be the peace in the house. You know, sometimes we not because we're only human. <laughs> but like we're, you know, we have our role from like back in the day, what the women are used to being. But now these days, there's just so much going on. You want to be able to offer more than just there's a lot cooking of, and cleaning. Yeah, there's a lot like, of up and down. So when right. he's down, he you got to be, back. you got to have his when back. When you're down, he has, he has your to back. Your back too. Yeah. And you can help each other grow. Like if you're down and like, oh, you know, damn. Like for example, Bay, you know, he's really good at construction. Mm-hmm. Let's start a business. I'll get the LLC, I'll invest in it, I'll promote since, you know, I, I do know a lot of people in the community. Why not? Let's get it started. And then guess what? I'm investing in it, my money financially. He's going to make money off of it. And yeah. that's when that money's coming to me. So Yeah, that's a great duo right there. So would it's you a say, full, yeah. So would you circle. say, like, treat your relationship as a business? Because you said a business is an asset. You have to have assets. Yeah, well, you know. Love and sex can only get you so far. Sometimes oh, yeah, there's like those the real moments. Ooh, there's those facts. real moments. Like love and sex can only get you so yeah, far. Yeah, like like there's those real moments where you're like, okay, so we do love each other and we want this to work. And what unfortunately is important in this world is money. 
So it's like if the money's not working in the house, that creates stress. Well, causes divorce. Causes divorce. Money. Even if you love each other so much, you're like those fights can get bad. Well, that's where, so it's like yeah. what seed can we plant for each other right now? What can we water each other with to mm. grow so we can be okay? Yeah. And our legacy will be okay, and we'll have financial independence, and you know, and you kind of start really learning about that at least because in our thirties right now. I mean, people now in their twenties are getting it because of social media, but For like, sure. yeah, because when we were in our twenties, like I wasn't thinking like this. No. No, I wish I was. Yeah. You know, we, we were thinking of a partying. Like, when's the next yeah. uh, concert? When's yeah, CDC you got to set yourself like up because things are getting more expensive. So if you are in a relationship and you're both starting from the bottom. You got to come with something, whether it's knowledge of something, education, whether it's a skill. Like, how can we grow in this world and make it, you know? Because there's inflation, Ooh. recession. Mm -hmm. so do you, inflation. Do you believe in a, what's that thing when you work at a corporate job and they take money from you? Uh, uh, 401k. Do you a believe 401k. in that? Um... Good. I don't have the one. Well, no, so. but it's like for these people no, because I We're met people. We're entrepreneurs. I met, so. I met people who say like, "Oh, the four hundred one k, like my four hundred one k is gonna get me right at like when I'm sixty. I'm like, they're damn, depending bro, on well, God damn. Yeah. Don't depend on anyone because that's what. So that I know that's why you also brought us on here because we're entrepreneurs. Yeah. What I did do is I went to Fidelity Bank and I opened up a Same. Roth IRA mm -hmm. account and I, you know, that's gonna grow. So that's like my own type of little retirement situation. Bought some stocks. It's a retirement plan. Yeah. yeah so like, so if like you're an entrepreneur. Explain that Fidelity Roth IRA. Yeah, like, yeah. To dumb it down for sure. Someone who's what, dumb. Yeah. Somebody who's what dumb, should like, they do? It's like, like what a should they do? It's, it's basically. like that. But it's you're like a doing 401k, it yourself. and you don't need to be stuck at a job, which sucks. Because people people stay at a job Just because of a 401k, so they're making like. 20 an hour because they don't want to lose a 401k where you can be a bartender you could be a server you could be a DJ and have an IRA and still put your, you, you know you're paying you're paying every month or every week aside and they're basically using your money into stocks blah 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 and it which grows, it grows. Yeah. so by the time you're 60 there's going like, to be something there you can retire with that money yeah. they they you know they invest your money then you know but you're saying it. that you can invest it yourself, correct? Yeah, like yeah. You just go like, like there's different, there's, there's different. Apps. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's apps. What are some apps that you could that they Acorns could use? Acorns, I like. Uh, Fidelity is a little bit like bougie. It's complicated. That's Acorns the one I got. Is so <laughs> <laughs> I have that one too. <laughs> I have, I have <laughs> both. I have Fidelity and Acorns. Acorns is fun. And it's like it's literally it shows you <laughs> if I put five dollars a, a week, I'm gonna make this much when I'm sixty. That's if I put awesome. twenty a week, I. I, show, show, I mean, show, can show, show it, show it, show it. Yo, we so ain't lying here. It kind of does dumb it down, which I love about Acorns. I got my son started. My son's 18. Yeah. Um, so when he's 60, he's going to be a millionaire. And yeah. I think he invests only five, 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 five $5 a week. Wow. That's oh, wow, that's it? So yeah. if you start early, this is what I want people to know. Yeah, right. Start wait, 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 early. Say it into the camera. camera. How much? Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Here, this is gonna be a real quick. <laughs> how much a week, or how much a week do you have to put in to be a millionaire by the age of sixty? Well, he's gonna make eight hundred with five dollars a week. But since he's gonna grow up and make more money, he'll probably put fifty a week. You know, right. it depends on you. The more you invest, obviously, the more money you'll make at sixty. But if you want to be a millionaire at sixty, you gotta start young. You gotta start at eighteen. Your right. kids can start. You can start one for your kids right now. But mm. this, oh, where is it? Where's my acorns? So you're saying five dollars a week he's gonna be a millionaire by yes, 60. That's about wild. just about and you know what's so crazy i like uh speaking kind of like for experience and stuff like that our parents never taught us yes no, that's our they, our like, didn't, they, they don't know about either. this well, are, are you hispanic shit. yeah i'm half puerto rican do you, and do half you think Persian. it's the hispanic culture or do you think it's uh it is well, because it is a lack of knowledge like everyone came over just, here from overseas they and just don't know from, we i was my first generation like i was born here my parents don't know like they they just know about working hard like I was and actually paycheck having, to paycheck. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny because I was actually having a conversation uh, with this like um, oh, see, that's with all, one of my see, friends. I started late. That's your bank account? No, no, no. Ah. <laughs> it's acorns, acorns. I I invest uh, forty every week, week. 40 but because week. I started late, acorns late. I have gotcha. fidelity, mm. but I started acorns late. So by the time I'm seventy six, I'll have four hundred thousand. Show the camera. I'm zooming in. Show it. That's, yeah. And that's yeah. extra. That's extra. When money. I make more money, I'll invest more money. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. That's and remember, that's a, another avenue of having some money to the side. Yeah. You always want different streams of income coming sure. in. That's how it stacks. They said millionaires have seven. I was just I income. was just about to ask, millionaires. how many income streams do you think people so should have? you don't have? want just one nine to five and just break but, your ass. But, 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 hold on. Uh, that's, you said millionaires once they're older. 
Because then you don't want to be uh, like 18 having seven. You don't want to do seven different things because then you won't focus on one. Right. So There's that focus too. on one thing or focus on two things, grow it, and then expand right. your... It's a marathon. It's a yeah. one at a time. Like, yeah. see, I do credit repair, which I do on when I'm off or when I have time. Mm. And then I sell nutrition where you just click the link in my bio and you buy nutrition oh, off my website. So I'm not really, you know, that's not so, like nine to five where to I got to piggyback off credit, right? How important, like... Would you say like just like right? We're we're speaking to people like on TikTok. They're just scrolling, right? Or they're, they're you have no idea. Like just think of it as like people who are young who are just starting up. How important is credit? Credit is so important. You need everything for credit. If you want to, you know, buy property, you want to start a business. You know, uh, you need you need money to start a business. Right. Mm-hmm. So you have you can you need a credit card. You can use a credit card. What, and are, what are some like good starter? Like for an example, right? You're 18. You're able to apply for a credit card. What's some good credit cards that you can think of right off the top of your head that, that well, people can I go and buy right now? I like secured right credit cards. Secured credit secured cards. Secured credit cards because they don't do credit checks. Because right now when you're starting off, you don't have no credit. If you do a credit card, it'll ding your credit and yeah. then your score Who will go down. Who has good secure, secured credit cards? Like? Um, I like Discover. Discover? A secure, Discover secured credit card. Uh, there's Open Sky. There's... Um, <laughs> oh my goodness! There's a lot of security. Hold well, on, I, I want to show. Right I want to show how many credit cards. I'm sure you can like. <laughs> you want to see how <laughs> many credit search, cards I have? Oh, search I it, mean, right? have no, no, don't let them zoom in, though. They might zoom in. No, no, no. I have the same. I have the same. Yes, yes. I have the same. I actually don't have that many. Can you guys both explain why is it important to have that many? Yes. Plastic. Okay, so so they look. (laughs) I have the same. Explain to them, because I understand how important it is to use the bank's money, not your money, right? Right. So why is it? Explain to the dummies. You know, and I I don't mean to say that because you know how they have the books like Driving for Dummies or like for Dummies. Explain to the people who just unfortunately don't know. You need to have. Why is it important to have a credit card? They need to see: Are you reliable? Like, if if someone wants to borrow money from you, oh, let me ask your friends: Is can I trust him? They're going to ask all your friends, you know, he wants to borrow $500. You trust him? You think he's legit? The same thing with credit card companies. They want to see that you have seven open credit cards. Seven is the minimum. Seven, seven open credit cards. Hmm. Major credit cards. Not no Burlington. Not no <laughs> TJ Maxx. Not no Walgreens. Well, my theory used to have, like, fucking, uh, those yeah. TJ Maxx. Fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah. and then they run cards. it. They, it shows on your credit report that you didn't pay or that you're late. So mm, you want major, major credit cards. But uh, so they look at history. They look at um, how many you have open. So which sucks because sometimes people are like, oh, you know, I have this Capital One, but now I have an American Express, so I don't yeah. use a Capital One no more. And if you don't use it, sometimes they close it. Mm-hmm. So when it closes, oh. so now you're down from seven open um, credit cards to to six, which that does affect your credit score as well. Mm-hmm. It'll bring yeah. it down. It's like a big old game. It's, it is. I have my Capital One. I'm like, crap. Let me just use twenty dollars on it just to like keep it keep going. Keep it going. Because I mean, I love American Express. Not, I, I, I don't love American Express. Yeah. I love um, Chase Sapphire. Oh, that one is the best. Chase. And yes. I want to use it for everything because you get Chase extra Sapphire yes. uh, preferred. Why is, that? Why is that? Why is that? Why is that? They have high limits. Points. Well, points. 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 You go out to dinner and you get like double Explain and triple the points. Okay, so like, because like I have these conversations with my younger cousins all the time. They're like 18, 20 years old. They have no idea. So explain to them like rewards, points. Like, why is it? So for an example, because this is my mindset, right? You're gonna use the money anyway. Whether right. it comes from your debit card, your exactly. credit card, the money's gonna be used. So why not, like, you? Why not use your credit card where you can get, get some points. cash back, get points, yep. and they have like benefits. Because mm-hmm. you're gonna spend the money no matter what. Yeah. You're either gonna pay the retailer or you're gonna pay the credit card company, which you can build your credit, you can get your points, and get stuff. Because back. when you get rewards, you can get free flights you can get free hotels yeah. like I had to do something in Orlando and we we're like oh psh, I can get a free hotel let's go turn free up hotel let's party. Not, not only not only that but uh, you you enter the lounges have you been Ooh. in the lounges, I haven't lounges. Done that yet. next lounges. year I hope so, I'm going to fly next year I haven't I haven't gone nowhere in 3 what, years. Wait, question about wait, the credit wait, thing though so also though you there's only a certain amount you're supposed to spend right oh, only oh, 30 percent because you don't want to have too much debt yeah. because then where my department in as, as a realtor when someone wants to buy a house and they have too much stuff yep. going on you won't get a loan Ooh. Yeah. So this is also only to 30% advise. usage. But I have a question. I have usage. a question for that. Yeah, I, I've heard it before, <laughs> but <laughs> 30 30 percent is it at the end of the month transferred over or 30 percent just straight up like, like like if you oh my god maybe do math right now 
um, but only thirty percent of your whole your whole like if you have twenty. If you have a hundred thousand, you can only use thirty percent of that. Yeah, thirty percent of, of that. The whole month though, like the whole month, you can only use thirty. Like always keep it that. <laughs> way. Always keep okay. it under because Got when it. you pass thirty percent, your score goes down. But even and but, then you'll but, pay so it you off, pay, and then yeah. your score will go back up. But that's what I'm asking. This is the whole. They game. only report Get the, the, game the due date right. is different from that's the report date. The due date could be the fourth, but the report date is the seventh. So are you talking about do it before the seventh? It see She's it depends whenever it, it gets way. it depends whenever it gets posted on your credit report. Like, you Re- don't the, know the report yeah, date. You could actually date. go on Credit Karma and it tells you the report date's the difference of the due dates. Yeah, because I've I've done. I mean, I'm nowhere near her credit skills, but I've had people pay me a hundred dollars to teach him credit because mm-hmm. I, that's how I built his barbershop off of straight credit cards. Yeah. Nice. And like people but don't know that. that's what they say: pay it off 15 days ahead, just so, True. You, so it, it doesn't get reported. Correct. Mm-hmm. Well, that's why that's where the due date is different from the mm-hmm. report date. Yeah. The due date could be the fourth, but the report date could be the seventh. Because mm-hmm. people pay it off on the fourth, but they're like, "Oh, I paid it off. All right, let me just use it again." Boom! Mm-hmm. Let, they spend the whole thing on the seventh. It actually reported to yep. the credit bureaus. And they just, it made no point to pay it off on the 4th because on yeah. the 7th they just reported I also heard too, and I, I don't know if I'm right or wrong or if I'm probably like, I don't I don't know where I heard this, but I heard like, you want to like pay twice? Is that right? Like pay, pay, like pay in the beginning and then pay it to where it looks like you're paying twice or something like that? I heard yeah, of that there's like, tricks. Yeah, yeah. Where, like if there's tricks like to make your credit score go up. So for example, if you have like a balance, pay a little bit towards the beginning of the month and then, and then like two weeks before your, your due date the, where it looks like it has. Anything, yeah. yeah. Any, any little extra helps. But is that like a little cheat code to kind of boost your credit score? Or is that not, that doesn't really? I think a myth. when it comes to the reporting, that's that's basically what it the is. It's kind of like a simple way of saying it. Yeah. Okay. But he basically said it. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, talk on uh, authorized users. Oh, I was just gonna ask. Well, about is that, that how too. you? Is that how you can uh, help somebody? It, your partner, yes. I guess. Say? Like my son is an authorized user, so Ooh. he has really good credit. But. If I spend more than my thirty percent, then his score is going to go down mm-hmm. with mine. So oh, you kind of want to be careful. Pick the right authorized. So user. like, <laughs> I, yes, yes, you do. That's scary. But also, like now, my debt is his debt. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's yeah, true. So that's it's kind of like I said, you got to be there careful. Same thing for a car. <laughs> yep. exactly. Yeah, exactly. Never do that. Oh, Never God. co-sign oh, talk for about nobody. That. Talk about oh, that I had that on credit repair. Never co-sign for anybody because that car debt is going to be on your credit yep. report as a debt. So when you want to apply for a loan, yeah. they're going to be like, you have all these bills. You have basically two cars so now i have my car and then the, the car that i co-signed for a friend so it's like the bank's gonna be like you can only afford 500 a month mortgage yeah and you're like you what doing? am i gonna no get a 500 a month mortgage right <laughs> never so never months. never co-sign for anybody as much as you love somebody unless they pay you money up front fine money for whatever family. just don't do it just yeah. don't yeah. as i all do all of my people who, who suffer from like credit repair from, from, issues from family it's family oh Me, i help somebody personally. out Shoot. Yeah. And they can, I mean, technically you can, and then they can refinance and put it under their name. Yeah. But it's then I, I, it's an issue by I, I, then. I ain't going to say no names, I ain't going to say who it was, but I was like 16 years old and I had a Verizon account for like multiple phones and like credit lines. What? So by the time I turned 18, they're like, yeah, you owe Verizon <gasps> like four grand. And I'm like, Dang. I'm 18 years old. Like, I had to call them. They be and your I, own people. I disputed it. And I'm like, hey, like, <laughs> this is fraud. I'm like, this isn't even me. It be your own people. And too. sure enough, like I had to prove, I had to prove that I was six, that Verizon gave a 16 year old a $4,000 like limit like oh, it was wow. fucking crazy and, and you know what like uh, for, for people watching it's probably maybe not like you said not their fault yeah but yeah. like usually like when it's a first first generation uh, mm-hmm. American then it's like they have socials right yeah. so whereas in some like some in some cases our, our, our family members they don't so it's like oh it's easy oh mijo can you go yeah, and like get this yeah. car or this oh, and that that's man. where it's tricky and too, it's man. very yeah. tricky like it's it that's true you can't say no but if you have this type of knowledge, correct, there's got to be ways around it to help family. Yeah, like let's let's do this. Like she said, listen, it's okay to help family, but make sure they have the money to give to you up front. Yeah, like, listen, I'll do this for you, but I need this so I'm not screwed. Or maybe like, they're too much. Be like, I want a Corvette. Like, maybe you should probably get like a Toyota. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and explain why. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. you gotta explain why. Like, probably like I want to buy a house one day, yeah. so this is why I need you to do this. So mm-hmm. help me help you. Yeah. Or set up a plan like, like I don't plan on buying a house till five years from now. So hey, Dad, make sure you pay this off in five Ooh. years. Yeah. Can, can you talk or about or refinance? Or I don't. Could you talk about like you said uh, write down? Can you talk about how uh, how important it is to write down your goals? Because I'm guessing that's like a oh, goal thing, right? Yeah. Do you write down your goals? I don't know if you guys I do. do. Um, 
I don't. I should. I do. Cause I, man, I, I have, like a, I have a planner an right where I'm like, all right, I got to save this much each month. That's a goal. That is a goal. That's writing down goals. Yeah. Because yeah. when you spell, like, you know, you're putting a spell, mm-hmm. you're manifesting. Ooh. So when you, sp- and you repeat. So if every day you like meditate or pray and you write down your goals for the day, your goals for the year, you're repeating it. Yeah. You're putting it out there. And in time the flies. Yeah. So Bro. if you're not seeing the calendar, oh, wait, my goal was this. Oh, I have to, you know, apply for this credit card. Because most of my people like who credit repair, they I tell them open five. Yeah. And okay. I get it. You need 200 minimum for a secure credit card and they don't have it. So they're like, all right, this month I'll do one. Next month I'll do another. But as long as you plan it, think about it and then save your money, you know, you got to sacrifice. Like maybe not get your nails done because that's like 100 bucks. You could have yeah. put towards yeah. your secured Ooh. credit card. I, know. I look at my nails. I'm sacrifice right now. Look, we both. I got, I look, this is women from our nails construction. Are not done. <laughs> okay. Edgar. I don't get my nails done. That's I don't mean, get I, my nails done right now. I don't, I have I'm saving Walgreens gla- um, lashes. <laughs> I don't get them done. Lashes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> sacrifice. Sacrifice. I mean, I you know, everything else is a little pricey, but you know, <laughs> you gotta yeah, yeah, yeah. zoom in on the white <laughs> cells. Zoom in on the white <laughs> cells. Oh, you know, yeah, but you know, she's like, I don't got nails, walking lashes, but are those white cells? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's little sacrifices yeah. here and there. Like, yeah, for it's sure. true. Sacrifice is how you obtain your goals. And yes, reach like goals. I'm, dri- I'm driving a Honda Civic. Can yeah. I afford a range? Yes, I can. But again, it's going to show on my credit report that I have that debt. Debt to income. Debt to income. Debt to income. Debt to income ratio is important that's actually so, it's funny that you even say that because i like some of the richest people that i know because i'm like i said i'm in the car business so we sell like range rovers Rolls Royce, mm-hmm. ferraris and stuff like that like high-end stuff so we run we i run into a lot of people who have money and you'd be surprised like all these rich people drive rinky dink cars mm-hmm. and i've asked them i'm like why do you drive these rinky dink cars they're like you ready for the secret they're like yeah oh, tell okay. me what it is but like no car payment Yes. Right. Like, I don't no have a car, car payment. payment. Like that, it gets me from point A. My to Honda's point B. paid off, so I don't yeah, have that debt. Off. So when I go apply for a loan for another house, okay, yeah, I'm driving a beat up Honda Civic, but yeah, I'm but about it's paid to have off. a couple of houses now. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and money in the bank. And I needed a truck because I'm I do because I'm remodeling. I bought another you know the mobile home property. Yeah. I'm remodeling, so I needed a pickup truck. Yeah, I literally bought a pickup truck. It was like three thousand dollars. Yeah. And a mess of a truck, but it gets I can get done. my mm-hmm. drywall in the back seat in the in the truck. You know, that's all that matters. And I bought it cash because I didn't want it on my credit report. Ooh, yeah, that is true. So. Also, big tip too, I learned through just other people making mistakes older than us is sometimes people will make all this money and then they set their lives to be expensive. Yes. So now they got this big house, this fancy car, this, this, this. Now their bills are crazy. Like, more money, more problems. Mm-hmm. So now you got these bills and then what if, God forbid, you do have you a hardship at one moment? Yeah. Now you can't yeah. afford this lifestyle. Live so under your means. Li- yes, because this way, especially how this world is oh, giving yeah. us curveballs left and right lately. Like, it's, COVID. it's Not only that, like, lit, social like, media, like, a, a lot of people yes. like, look at social media and they're like, Yo, this guy just got a brand new car. They want to compare. Yeah, they want to compare themselves. Some of those rentals, y'all. Don't be, don't be thinking <laughs> people really doing this. Like a lot of people just nope. do it for social media. Yep. And you know, no knocks because some of those people make money that way because right. they're people, branding some, themselves. Some. Yeah, they're people, branding themselves. Yeah. Financial That's great. freedom is the goal. That's the goal. To not stress. Like, I got money coming in, and I'm like, quality of life. I, yeah. I could spend a hundred on nails, but like you can spoil yourself here and there. But remember, like, don't live above your means. Have you? You're gonna be stressed instead of enjoying it. This is true. You want to have time. You said not to spend 100 on nails. When do you start thinking that, though? I, I'm pretty yeah, sure at 18, I you were like... I'm a Capricorn, oh. so I'm cheap as fuck. Like, I'm cheap, but I like fancy things. She's blaming, it, she's blaming on so the Zodiac sign. I will. Oh, so I don't know. I will never spend $100, but I will spend $500. But look at the boy I will. Because no. they last they're longer. Last they last longer than nails. Item. It's a classic nails. item. Yeah. Yeah. These, right. they, this doesn't get destroyed. My yeah. nails, no, I, I would not. I just stopped doing my nails this year. I was that woman that had my nails. Yeah. yeah. And I, I always pay $80 every two, three weeks on my nails. It's crazy. But I started lashes seeing all that like added, and I was like, man, this is kind of crazy. Lashes. And, and you, know, you know what's funny? Uh, talking about nails. I mean, not funny, like, in, you know, laughing, but in our culture, we, like, girls... Women, they do nails religiously, yeah. like than other cultures. Yeah. So that's like where in like in it's hard. It's hard for us you because you feel like you're not on point. Exactly. Because <laughs> you know there's quesadillas. I look trashy. Look at me. Look. 
But you know what? Those are working hands. Working but my hands, bank girl. account ain't money. trashy. I look at, like, <laughs> I got foam. I got caulking on my fingers. Do caulking. I care? No. Yeah. I just look at my bank account real quick and be like, oh, okay, oh okay. that is true. <laughs> that is very true. I'm good. I'm good. Ain't, none, ain't, nothing, wrong, ain't nothing wrong with a little friend At the friend same time, when you start making, like, money, you kind of don't, you don't want to be loud. Ooh. You don't want to be like, yeah. you don't want people to know you have money. Like, Yo. keep thinking I'm struggling. Keep assuming. Yeah. Because yeah. it's really And then no these people, business. they're, they're so busy yeah. trying to keep up, trying to look rich when they're really struggling paycheck to paycheck. And who are you doing that for? For who? Your for haters? They don't care about Your you. Your haters. They mm-hmm. don't care about you in the yeah. end of the day. Like, really, really, like, peace is yeah. more important. Financial Your peace. family, your, the people you care about, yourself, love, self-love, like, what makes you feel good? Like, we're right now in a time where everything's in your face. The minute you pop up your phone, it's like, everything's in your face to compare yourself to. Mm-hmm. Do you know that right there is mental health yes. problems right yes. there? Like, not everything's what it seems, so it's like, if you just focus on yourself, and what you gotta makes get you out feel of that. good. Like I just recently got out of that too. Like a couple years ago, I've slowed down so much on my social media. Like I only go on there to promote my gigs or promote real estate, and I'm out. If, I, if, like if my friend, media. like let's say hers pops up real quick when I pop on to do, I'll show her love and I'll bounce because like if I don't want to scroll, like it's too much. And I'll you see can a girl at a range and be like, damn, that. I want a range too. Right? See, uh, it's a nat- it's, like a, <laughs> it's a natural thing, and it's like. It's like it's not good for the she mental. She got the new Prada's. Dang. No, chill. it's not important. No, I, gotta, I gotta buy drywall. Look, if a hurricane <laughs> came, if a hurricane yeah. comes and the water gets in the Last crib, week. there goes all the Prada. Exactly. There goes all the stuff. All of it. Yes. You, it's yeah. your life that matters. It's so crazy. I was thinking about it the other day. It's like this is all materialistic shit. Right. Like, right. Just the brand. Like, this computer does the same thing as this computer, but the fact that it's an Apple, Apple. people yeah. want that. Well, Apples are pe- kind of cool, though. But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's the no, brand. But it's, well, also, it's about tools. <laughs> yeah. So if it's a tool that helps your business, that's what I was going to say, Make too. Money. Remember, business you, expense, anyways. Biz, yeah, bi- there you go. Business expense. But you want to do stuff that's a tool to your life, not yeah. just something extra. And NASA, right? That's what you guys and NASA to asset, you. Yeah. And um, I wanted to ask you guys something because you guys touched on it. You were you were describing kind of what you guys do, and that's I think that's pretty cool because I would like to ask you guys what is it that you guys do because like a lot of people they only say oh he's an HC guy he's a plumber <laughs> she's a nail tech she's that I would like to ask you guys and for you guys to tell our guests or our viewers like what does a high value woman do like like I'm not saying they have to be exactly like you mm-hmm. but like just kind of like what options options of other routes correct yeah, what do you guys speaking, do? Of, speaking of multiple incomes um, I'm a bartender that's bartender. where I, that's where I started I do credit repair I sell nutrition and I'm a landlord Ooh. Um, I used to bartend. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) I just stopped bartending like maybe two years ago. Um, But right now I'm currently a DJ. I have my own entertainment company. Shout out, shout Um, out. Yeah, Keza Entertainment. And then I'm also a realtor. Um, but then I also randomly like I'll, I'll serve, I'll bartend whenever they're private gigs, extra cash. extra cash. But my two main hustles right now is uh, DJing and real estate. Yo, For sure, that's, that's dope. That's what's your, what's your end goal? What are your guys' end goals? Uh, we kind of similar because we both want to buy investment properties. Um, landlords yeah, like I just want to own I, investors. Do you have an person investment person portfolio? While I'm in Italy, like, yeah. and you're collecting rent. Damn, direct deposit. She, she, like, I, can see the, yeah. I can see the cucumbers on her. I love Yes, yeah. oh, that direct That's deposit. A, hand. Hand. <laughs> yeah, being oh, a landlord, man. it's like financial independence because real estate, no matter what, even if it goes down for a second, it's going to come back, back up. Because, yeah. you know, you can put your money in the bank That's and it's just going to sit comes. there. But, like, if you put your money in real estate, your your home's already going to build equity. So when you sell it, you're going to make what you put into it and mm-hmm. some. You're going to make money off of that. That's more than just sitting in the bank. It's just right. it's a good investment. Then on top of that, instead of just your own house that's building equity, you start buying other properties slowly, even if it's just a duplex or a mobile home, whatever. You start renting that out and you double your mortgage and the rent. You're going to pay your mortgage and you're going to get that rent. That's more income coming in. That's one less job you have to do that you don't like. Like You could be a full-time investor in real estate and have multiple properties and just be a landlord and collecting yeah. your rent if driving passive doing income your is your goal you got to think of ways to create passive, passive income. income where do you yeah. think like your hustle came from like were you always this like driven or was it no, like what um, in your life do you feel like 
I got a fucking hustle. Switch came on. Like, where's, where's the switch? Yeah, I was a single mother. I was, about I was a teen it. mom. Talk about it. And How old? Like, everything. I was, Tell these girls because there's I a lot of I got pregnant at 17, 17. Had my son at 18. And I was just like, what do I do? What do I do? Like, you know, baby daddy wasn't there. So I was like, what's... Um, this girl came up to me and was like, hey, well, back in the, back in the day, if you worked at Hooters and you hired someone, you got a hundred dollars. So oh, this shit. girl had her own hustle. So she was trying to get everyone to get a job and she would get a hundred bucks. So I was like, so she was like, oh, come work at Hooters. Come work. She kept pressing it. I was like, man, I, I felt like I'm like 18 years old, single mom. I don't want to be wearing no little short shorts, <laughs> <laughs> but like I was using my, um, income tax money to like, and I was going to school. I was going to college. So oh, I was using okay. that money to, what like, survive. I went to, uh, I was going to go to, for nursing. For nursing, okay. So I was, like, my money was running out. And I was like, I have to get a job. Where am I going to get a job? And I was like, Hooters was basically here. Mm-hmm. Here. Yeah. Come yeah. work for us. Yes, it is. And I was so desperate. I said, fuck it. And it was so hard for me because I was like, I can't be a Hooters girl, like, flirting with guys, guys looking at your ass and titties. And it was so <laughs> awkward for me. It was like I just gave birth. But it was like I had to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, funny, um, I learned from one of my regulars, my customers, about credit there. They were like, I was. They were arguing. They're like, I got a seven fifty. Oh, I got a seven eighty. And I was like, What are you guys arguing about? And they're like, Credit. And I'm like, What the fuck She's is like, what credit? Is that? Yeah. What, yeah. Is, what yeah. is that? But that's the thing that I do. I ask a lot of questions. Yeah. And yeah I see yeah, people. Good. You're very yeah. And that's yeah. that's what you're supposed to do. Ask questions. People who know stuff, don't be afraid. Mm-hmm. And I think me being a bartender server, like I meet rich people and I ask them, How did you get started? And someone told me, Mobile home. I started with nothing, and now he's a huge developer. Like, um, or has like apartments and whatever. But you start small, you ask questions. People who know, don't be afraid to ask. Yeah. So yeah, they were arguing about credit and I was like, what is that? And then they told me and I was like, oh shit, what's my credit? I was like, I don't have credit. Like, what, what is your shirt with a five? Huh? What, 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 I don't what remember. Check? That's cap. What I don't remember, long, honestly. Yeah, right. It was yeah, so yeah. long ago. I don't want to age myself. <laughs> <laughs> but, anyway, <laughs> but, on, but then my mom, out of nowhere, I was like, oh, I don't want to say how old I was, but my, I had a little baby and my mom was like, why don't you buy a house? And I was like, what the fuck? How old were you when you... <sighs> Well, okay, this was 2008. Okay, okay, bad. okay. We'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. 2007, 2008. My mom was like, when did the market crash? 2008. So we'll say 2007, 2006. My mom's like, why don't you buy a house? And I was like, I was working at Wing House then. And I was like, the fuck? A house? Like, I didn't even, I'm thinking about taking care of my baby, like, day to day life. And I was like, a house? I was like, all right. So she connected me with a realtor. We did the paperwork. I Back then, everyone got approved for a loan. So I got approved for a loan. Oh, yes. That's yes. the difference from today. Yeah, Everyone got approved now. for a loan back then. The fact that my broke ass, <laughs> single mom, got approved for a loan. I think I got approved for like 150 That was high, though. That was pretty yeah. high. At, it the was high. Like, At the time. I think it was, it was basically like 800 900 a month mortgage, which back then was a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, so I was gonna buy this condo, and it was for one thirty. I said, "Bet one thirty, all right." But the thing was, it was weighed out with a bunch of cows in the country, <laughs> and my mom lives. Um, again, I'm a single mom. My mom, I need her. My mom lives in West Bradenton, right, and right. this condo was in way in the fucking country. And I was like, "There's no way Bulldogs. I can commute back and forth." So right. I kind of chickened out. I got scared, which I fucked up. Let me repeat that again. I fucked up because that country with cows and horses is now UTC. Whoa. Oh my yes. fucking god! If you don't learn anything, learn oh from me. My god. Bro, I would be rich as fuck right now. Location, location, <laughs> that's right. Location. That's right. Yes. That's right. But you didn't know that was. Gonna I didn't happen. know. Of course, we don't. We don't know. know. But plus, no, give me chills. listen, listen, is UTC mall. They told me, too. They're like, they're going to build a mall here, blah, blah, blah. I said, whatever, fuck you. You're just trying to sell me. This, Correct. This well, let me, chime in, let me chime in real quick on that. Bro. So before you start looking or when you start looking for a home, you don't always have to stay stuck in one city or one area. Definitely check out on websites of the city what their development plans Venice, will be. North Five Port. to ten years from there. Because if you're finding something that's just getting started, that's gold because you can buy that's cheap. Money. But you want to check what the development plan is. Like they were telling her there's going to be a mall or whatever. They always put it on the website of the Fuck. city. Yeah. So then you'll know what's to come. I see, and I you'll be like, this is a good investment. Yeah, this yeah, is a good yeah. location. This is long term. <laughs> Something yeah. I just had to chime in on that. No, 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 that's no, exactly. no, no, that's but that's, no, the, no. that's the difference from back then and now. Now you have resources. You, you have Facebook. You can hit people up. We didn't have that back then. And then the next year, the market crashed. And I was I was like, 
oh my God, I am so broke. I, I don't even have money to eat. How was I going to afford a mortgage? I was kind of like, whew, thank God. Yeah. But back then we didn't have Airbnb. We didn't have, hey, I need, a, I'm, I'm renting a room. Oh yeah. So yeah, now yeah. if that were to happen and I was struggling, I would, I would, me and my son would share the room and I would rent out two of the rooms Airbnb, you know, so now there's more re- re- resources. Resources, yeah. yeah. Unlike back then. Yeah, this so is So I true. think a lot of people struggled because we didn't have Facebook to be like, hey, I have a room for rent. Now we didn't really have no Airbnb. Because yeah, no the resources There's a hustle, everywhere. yes. Right now, if I'm hurting, I'll go live with my mom and I'll rent my house if the recession happened. Yeah. yeah. Correct. And yeah. I'll still be making money while I'm living in my mom's house struggling. So, so that's the difference from today and back, back then. then. Correct. Yeah. Let me ask you this, because you just touched two subjects. Mm-hmm. First question, million dollar question right here. Do you rent or do you buy? Buy. Buy. I mean, I know some you guys right now are like, I can't buy yet, but we were talking about this before we started the show. Start somewhere. So connect with the realtor and then have them connect you with a lender and get your application going. Yeah. There's nothing scary about that. This is like, hey, you're, you know, you, they're going to ask for your W-2s, your tax returns. They're going to pull a credit score. They're going to uh, ask you what you got going on in your bank account. Then at that point, it's either, hey, you can get approved for this amount where you're at right now. Yeah, mm-hmm. Or, hey, you're going to uh, need your credit score to be at this point in the next few months. And you're going to need um, this much in the bank. And re- you're going to need to make this much amount. And Just work on out. that in the next six months. And then you revisit that lender. And you're, you've done your goals. And you accomplish them. And you're like, okay, now we're at Okay, now you can get approved for this, and then you can move forward. So even if you're renting now, don't feel like you have to stay a renter just because you're not sure what to do or because they tell you no the first time. Right. And if you get a bad vibe from a lender, Ugh, go to a different lender. They suck. If you're not feeling the connection and you feel like they're not fighting for you or they're not giving you a mm. plan, be like, okay, this person isn't for me. Don't get discouraged. Find someone that is, and then you have a goal because then you're going to be closer to being a homeowner because, like I said before, as a, as a renter, you're getting someone else money. And, and rent is so getting, high right rent now. So high. You're and throwing you 13, You don't get that money 14. back. Yeah, but as if you buy a house, it's going to grow in value, that home. And when you decide to sell it and upgrade or buy something else and rent that out, you're already leveraging yourself because your house is making money. So buying is definitely... Now, for all the people, right, because it's like... it's. Just, for like a young kid because a lot of people like when they think buying a house they think you got to be like 30, 30. you have a family no you can get no. a condo you yeah, get yeah. a duplex so look at my experience I yeah. wish I was 21 and I bought that stupid condo yeah. I wish I yeah. did I, str- I would have struggled yeah but, but better late than never because she now has two properties yeah good yeah so, and she's making one of them but into a duplex she missed so. out on that UTC one that UTC that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, but still, though, but, still but my though. girl's about to get her <laughs> next car. Well, but I would have been, I would have been a stuck up bitch. I wouldn't be out here trying to help people. Ah. I was twenty one, like, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Nah, nah, I'm kidding. No, and we appreciate you. She would have uh, been like, bitch. Coming. Have you seen my condo? <laughs> you know how much? I, it's three thousand yeah, yeah, yeah. a month. No, What's no, your I'm favorite kidding. mall? Yeah, I live there. <laughs> <laughs> I own. I own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I own three condos. Yeah, yeah. You know UTC. No, but that's the thing. Um, start. I mean, like. Think big, bitch. Like, like, yeah. don't think the say that, future. Say that on the mic again. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the camera. Say, <laughs> say, say the mic. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Think big, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, the, the problem with people who are young, yes. you know, you have, inc- I, have a, I have a friend. I wanted to bring her. Are we going to FaceTime her? Okay, next so, FaceTime her. FaceTime her. FaceTime her. I told her I was going to FaceTime her. What are we saying? So, okay, she's young. Young? How old is she? Mm-hmm. Well, younger than you me, that's question. all I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> really young, she, started with, she started the credit repair journey. Uh, she started with me last year, March. Fixed her credit. Excellent. November, she started house hunting. In oh, November. that fast. She finally, yes. Hello. Now, Hello. Yeah. If you do, if you're on point, yeah, that fast. Then um, she started house hunting in November. She ended up buying her house in April. And what I love about her is that she wasn't, Stuck in, you know, stuck in people's ways where they want the big house, the bougie house. Yeah. She, she bought a little fixer somewhere. upper in yep. her income and she didn't care. She's yep. like, yeah, I'm going to buy it. She bought it and needed, it needed work. Correct. And um, she would DM me like, hey, you know someone that does this, someone who does that. And I was like, I do. I do. And, you know, she fixed it. And like, you need, no, you need to she. Be a broker. She <laughs> was it. You need to be a broker. I know. I but know. Um, I think that about her too. And yeah, she, she does it. She, I think she makes like 30, 30 ish. 
uh, 30K, she makes 30K, and she was able to buy a home. Wow. She was able to fix it. This girl was dedicated. What? And now she has a three bedroom where she can rent out both of the rooms and make income off that. Look at that. And now we became like friends. Like now we're like, cool. Because Anyways, so now, mindset. and now yeah. she has equity on the house. She can yeah. sell the house and make money, but she's gonna keep it, she's gonna rent it. And then now we're looking to, um, um, she's trying to save to buy another home. So she's going to oh. rent out, she's going to rent out that house yeah, just buy another one. Upgrade. So now her income yeah. is going from 30 to 50. So, so now she's going to, yeah. you know, apply for a loan making 50. So, you know, that's what I like about her is that she didn't care that it needed a little work. Yeah. And remember, no one, don't get scared because remember, everyone always needs a place to live. Yes. That's true. So always. you're not going to not be able to rent your place out. Yeah. And, oh and about that, let me, let me ask you, what do you say to the people who are watching and that are probably scared because they think the market's going to crash? What, what, what good advice yeah, could you the give them? Oh, Brian wants well, to we can't predict this. the future. <laughs> Correct. But we can say this, that... Right now, again, everyone needs a place to live. Yeah. There's population growth. Everyone Especially in here. this area, Florida, everyone's moving here. You know, there's cities like New York, California, Miami. They never go down in value. Sarasota is that new it mm. place. Yes. It's not going down in value. Like, the new bar has been set as to what our yeah. price range is. Things might, like, as a realtor right now, I do see some price drops in the houses. Mm -hmm. I yes. do see that people aren't, like, over-offering like From they were last year. From overpriced houses. Yeah. It, was it, it just it, dropped it a just little bit. It dropped a little bit, but it's not a couple going to go crazy. It's not going to go crazy. Yeah. You might see some foreclosures at some point or so whatever. There's always like your, you know, but I mean, I, I could find those. But like the thing is, like, <laughs> that's yeah, right, that's right. yeah, I could find those. But the thing is, in general, I don't see us going just like down. I was prepared since the last crash. Mm. Everyone else was getting prepared. Everyone else, so many people came up from the last crash. Correct. There's people who were like bought a, a, a house on the island for three hundred thousand. Guess oh what? They God. have now. Like a million. I know these million. people. Million. 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 I know these people. Million. They took advantage of the last crash. So you think the whole world is not thinking? Let's the next, the next, the next one. Yeah. Next one. Let's save. Yeah, you're not the only I one. was. I if was saving. Goes down, That's why I have a home. It goes up. all the way. It always goes back up. That is yes. true. So what comes down must go up. Yeah. What goes up must so come I'm down. Sorry, whatever. If little like, Melissa Alvarez from Bradenton was waiting for the next crash. Yeah, I'm not the only one. Yeah. The whole world, everyone. There's people from Chicago, New York, That's ready, right. ready to invest. And I see them as a mm -hmm. bartender. I see these people. They come to town. They come to my bar. Oh, I'm here to buy property. It's three hundred thousand. To them, three hundred is nothing. There yeah. you go. Nothing. That's extreme. Well, right now, nothing's really that cheap unless it's a no. fixer up. Do you think it'll be there eventually, or not anymore? No. So it's like, hey, right, fixer up. Even it, it fixer up, but think about it. Is anything like it was a few years ago? No, no, even no. before this spike. Girl, of milk ain't even the same. Every year, <laughs> home, I wish I brought it because we had a meeting at uh, our office the other day. It, we had a graph, and it shows all these past years how much percentage your value of your home goes up. Even if it's just two percent, three percent, still going up. Twelve percent. It will always go up I a got little bit. In my house. It will always per. go up. So <laughs> that, that answers the market crash thing. I don't see it going crazy like that. That is, but true. the rates. Talking about the, the rates. Rates, oh. well, rates are right now crazy. Help, you know? Seven point two five. You know, the back rates. then, the rates, rates used to be eight percent. And then yeah, my mom's house was like seven percent. My mom's too. So people are scared of these new rates. Our they weren't new. Were paying that they much. only went low it's because of COVID. Deal. They only threw uh, everybody a bone because yeah. they're trying to move the economy. Correct. Yeah. So now the rates are kind of back to what they always were. Yeah. So people get scared of that. But don't so be scared high. of that. Isn't it's still better than that. renting. Is, isn't it? Isn't it kind of like the same? Like either the 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 price of the house goes down, but the rate goes up, or it's either the house mark the house goes up like the value, and then the uh, the percent is down. So it's basically about the same, no? Know, like like you can negotiate. Like it, yeah, yeah, you can negotiate stuff. Well, yeah, you can negotiate anything with contracts and deals and whoever you speak to, like. Negotiation is for everything. It's key then. Yeah. So you have to have a, a badass person next to you, right? right? Like you got everything's about resources. Everything's about asking questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are your options? <clears throat> Excuse me. Like, and there's all different kinds of loans too. There's Ooh. not just one type of loan. Like her and I were talking about different options. There's like for entrepreneurs, there's like bank statement loans where they just look at like what you make. Because you're supposed to have two years at a job to apply for a loan. But in now the same, they in the same industry, no? The same. Yeah. And that's they, why, that's why I stayed now. at Wing House for so long because I had to use that two year mm -hmm. income until because I had like two part-time jobs. And this one I made way more. 
Oh. We gotta cut that. We gotta cut yeah, that. Yeah, we'll believe it. We'll believe it. We'll believe it. We'll believe okay. It. So, Wing House was here. Please. And I got, a, I got a bartending job in Sarasota, which I made this much, but I wasn't two years there yet. So, I Ooh. had to hold on to this one to buy the house, blah, 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 blah. So, I busted my ass. Like, I was working six, you know, six days out of the week. Like, until I can reach two years here, then I can drop that one. I was like, there's but different I, products now. Different but now loans. they have yeah. the bank statement loans. Yeah. There's the FHA loan. There's there's conventional loan. There's investment loans. There's rehab loans. So that's Whoa. why you want to mm-hmm. connect with a lender, tell them your goal, and then at that point you can they'll See what they can they'll do. match you with the loan that works for you, and then this way you have a map of how to get to that point. So it's not scary. It's just we just don't know about it. That's true. But it's, it's yeah. not scary. It's just about asking questions. And her her bank person is really nice. Yeah. So nice. I try to find the right lenders because I do care about helping people. And I do care about, like, I'm not over here, like, trying to be the realtor that only deals with, uh, you know, million-dollar homes or Mm billion-dollar homes. I like helping first-time home buyers. I like helping everybody. I like helping people get their first investment property because it's, like, it's empowerment. Yeah. For Correct. me, it's like giving back a different type of knowledge that wasn't taught to me either. Facts. Like, yes. this is something new for me, too. And right. I'm so high off of it because I'm like, hey, look, we, we can change the game for ourselves and our families and our because we weren't taught this. <laughs> but exactly. you know? do you believe everybody should be on the same page or don't you need that person to pick up your trash? You need that. Per- no, no cause, you know cause what? I want, in, no, I want that. No, 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 no. Uh, but it, but it's no, because then they're not going to build a wall no more. They're going to be like, dang, all these Latinos. Well, see, my following is Latinos. Like, yeah. working as a bartender, working at Sombreros, most of my following is Latinos because I was a club promoter. So I, I followed 5,000 Spanish people. Yep. So when I got into the credit repair, all of my credit repair clients are Latinos. So all these Latinos are buying houses now. Yep. Correct. So it's like, Dang, if all these Latinos are learning how to invest, Airbnb. So why aren't you property, a realtor? Uh, you I know. Double dip. Yeah, what's the, that? Yeah. So double dip. I'm lazy. Well, she has me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. She's like, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be in she was Italy in a, with the cucumbers. So Melissa's you know? goal, <laughs> the cucumbers. So there's <laughs> two ways. Of, there's different avenues in real estate. Okay. Sure. So you can be an investor and grow your investor portfolio. You could be a realtor. You can be an auctioner. You can be someone that goes and buys properties on auction. Mm-hmm. You can be... There's so many Do you buy properties lanes. on auction? I, I, I haven't yeah. gotten into that, but I know but about that's it. that's like cash. I've been starting oh, to okay. learn about that. Yeah, you want to ha- definitely have your cash right. But there's actually finance. You could get... You oh, could get so much. There's so, like, there's so many can. avenues in real estate. You don't have to just be a realtor. Mm. Yeah. There's, like, as I'm learning more, too, I'm like, okay... I don't always want to stick to being just a realtor either because let me tell you, being a realtor is actually really hard. It's you do a bunch of work and, and you don't weekends. know, you only get paid at closing and closing sometimes takes 30 to 60 days. Damn. Right now it takes like about 30 average. Yeah. But like I'll run around and take people to see houses and for free, it's free. For free. And and use my gas money, and they might not. They might change their mind oh, and say I'm not ready yet. What's the average? Like how how many houses does a person see before they buy? Like yeah. average. It, like, depends it depends on the person. Yeah. Okay. It really does. Like some people will drag you to see like thirty. Some God. People, some it took no. me four years. Yeah. My realtor. Oh, you have to. She wasn't my realtor. Oh, your realtor. Yeah, <laughs> but my realtor, your realtor was my friend. You. I know he hated me, but he. You know, <laughs> no, but that's part of the job. You have to be patient because because really. I can, I can see what's going. On. If you years. become I like it, it's pretty, but it's just to, not me. Right. No, as a realtor, you have to remember going to this game that it's not a get quick scheme Rich like people yeah. think. It takes time. You want to remember that you care about your clients, that yeah. you're like, wait, these people are buying a big investment. Yeah. So I put in my mind that I'm planting seeds. I have all these clients. Me and her have been working on it for a while, too, and it's like, it, I don't care. I'm not rushing her process because it's like everybody that I have, all my clients, they're working on stuff. Yeah. Or I have clients who are like, girl, I'm ready to buy now, and they're cash. Yeah. And, we, and it took, like my last client, it took her eight day, eight houses to see, and she got the eighth one cash. So it just depends on the people, but you have to remember, you might have a client like that, and then you have a client that's getting started, but you have to treat all your clients the same. You have to be like, you know what? Yeah. You, I'm here to help. Yeah. And it could take somebody four years, but guess what? When she's finally ready, she's calling her realtor, and but she's I like, I'm her. ready to go. And she's you're so like, patient. hell yeah, let's do it. Like, I'm so proud of you because you got one that you're working on, and you got one that's ready now. It all balances out. But if you come across a realtor that gives you those vibes that they don't care, and they're yeah. like, there's, uh, then there's person, some. There's a lot. Find like another one. 
you just find another one. What's your advice for like a young realtor? Like somebody's watching this and they want to be like a like a, even a woman. Like yeah. I, I I know someone in particular who's who she wants to be a realtor. That's like one of her dreams. You gotta keep another hustle because mm-hmm. you don't get paid all the time at first. Right. But also you want to interview um, brokerages. Every brokerage has their own like way of doing things. Some brokerages will help you in a very militant way, like sell a certain amount a month. Some people prefer a different lifestyle. It's about you. So because I hear there's like fees too. Is that true? There's yeah, there's a lot of fees. And a lot of people don't know like there's a lot of fees to just to be in like a firm. I yeah, think, right? you got you got to pay to be a realtor. Yeah, you get to pay to be a realtor. Like oh, wow. I have monthly fees. So, that you, I pay. so in order for you to like so for all the people who want to be realtors, it pays. You have to pay. To, to be play. a realtor. Yeah. Pay Damn. to play. Play to play. Like, wow, but, I didn't but, know that. But when you do sell uh, enough and you start growing, they say it takes three years to really start building. Yeah, I heard that too. And, and I'm, you know, I put in the work. You put in the work. Everybody puts The people that I know, some people quit really fast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My mentor has been in the game for a while, and he told me it took him three years, and now he's good. But in the first couple of years, he was serving. With any He was business. waiting tables. Correct. Yeah, any he was business. waiting tables. And, you know... I still wait tables right now, too. Yeah. And I have my DJ gig. And, like, but you know what? When I sell enough houses and I get my investment properties going, then my goal is to, okay, I can breathe now. Correct. It's like I got my, my rent coming in from my, my tenants, and then I also could keep selling houses. And this becomes a little more lax vibe, but yeah. you got to start somewhere. you yeah. got to hustle. So if you're thinking about getting into real estate, remember that it does take a few years to get off the ground. It's you want to use your sphere of influence. You want to brand yourself. And you have to remember that you want to have a good chunk of money to start, or yeah. you get a credit card because I only use my credit card <laughs> to pay for stuff. You need <laughs> but, no credit. Yeah, but like you know, once you sell those houses, you'll be able to pay all that stuff off. But like you know, it's an investment. It's a business. You're starting a business as yeah. a realtor. You are starting so your own you business. So technically, you can write stuff off. Gas yeah, and yeah, yeah. You start, and that's with my entertainment company too. It, it was a business. I had to invest in my speakers, invest in my computer i had to invest in my controller and invest in like learning and 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 then once you in your branding and then also that you get the money back eventually Mm -hmm. and then you feel good you're like man this is my business i clock in when i want to clock in yes i make my schedule i plan my day so it's it's empowering when you when you're doing your own thing you're your own boss at that point and you think do you think we can talk a little bit about that business that you're talking about how did you get started being a DJ? For real. Uh, so I love DJing too. That's like my other thing. And um, uh, you can talk I about me. started because of her. You can talk <laughs> about I know. Me. No, I know. Really? I know. No, I know. For real? So, so I've actually. How the fuck? I know. I know. This girl is the blug. She is. So first, I was an artist, and I've always done my own music, and I have a lot of music out there. What's your What's your like? Where it's, can I find your music? It's Nat Keza. N A T K E Z A. I have tons of. What's it on YouTube? SoundCloud, on YouTube, everywhere. Spotify. Everywhere. I have a lot of music videos, so I was always oh, performing and doing music. Uh, for years now, and I haven't done anything recently because I'm focusing on real estate right now. But, <laughs> but I was very heavy in the game. Like I moved to California for it. Then when I came back to Sarasota, Brainston area, I performed at a spot she was bartending at, and she, no way. yeah, she told me, hey, they loved your performance. And they want to know if you DJ too. And then she goes, yeah, we, need she a, goes we need a DJ. Yeah, she said, we need a DJ. She goes, you ever thought about that? That's a good lane for you. No, because <laughs> they hit me out. They're like, hey, can Nat has a DJ? I was like, uh, I don't know. And I was like, I was like, Tasha, you know how to DJ? I know you can like figure something out. Like, yeah. And I, and, it, and I didn't it. say no. You know, Hustlers, like, you don't, you, you figure don't it no. out. Like, like, you don't say no, you just figure been it out. Like, I don't, I'm not know. a DJ, I'm an artist. You know, yeah, some yeah, artists yeah. are like that. But I was like, wait a minute, because I have DJed for fun at parties. Yes, mm-hmm. correct, correct. Like, I used to do the, all the mixes for the parties. Like, you got a good ear. Yeah, I just yes. know music. I've yeah. always been in music. So I was like, well, I kind of already know how to do it. I just need, like, a little equipment, a little crash course. So then I hit up a high school friend who i known forever who DJs, and I was like, bro, I need to borrow <laughs> your equipment. Give me yes, a crash course. And, um... He laughed at me. I was like, <laughs> and I was like, bro, I'm serious. And he was like, okay. So he met me at the venue <laughs> and he helped me plug my stuff up and he yeah. showed me like simple things and I already had my music list. Yeah. So then I just started playing around with it. And then, you know, I loved it because I was getting time. paid to do music. And then I was getting better and better. My skills were getting, so already my music selection was on point. That saved me without having the technical. Oh, yeah. okay, but okay, then okay. I started learning the technical, the technical. And it's been years now. I mix really good now and like, 
How do you come up with your set list? Like, what's like? I don't. I, I, I never have a set list. Mm-hmm. I actually mix live. But Dang. oh, that's yeah. skill. That's skill. <laughs> I read the crowd, but what I do is download music. What's your go-to song whenever like the crowd's dead? Like, yeah, the, the sh- crowd's dead. What, who are you playing? Bad who you Bunny playing? yesterday. Uh, as I went over. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was there. Oh yeah, <laughs> hey, I DJ. I DJ a corporate Bad event yesterday, and he was there. It was not like, even planned. Look it at wasn't that. Planned. Planned. It was not planned. That was my first time meeting him. That's God. Meant yeah. to be. Yeah, God's that's plan. so crazy. I, I saw like, you. So I was like, oh my God, he was at the party I DJed yesterday. <laughs> and was, she good, was she good DJ? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Everybody was dancing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I got video on Instagram. I saw. Yeah. Actually, I think after you left, the, all the girls were like falling on the ground. They started dancing. Oh, yeah. yeah, they started getting <laughs> a little, little drunk. Yeah. Yeah. It, was it was a party. There was so I would say like honestly, and the be- it's a it's a it's a it's a warm up. It's like a drug. Like you start sure. it and then you're like brewing it. You're yeah, reading yeah. the crowd. You have to remember that they have to like you first. Okay. Sure. So you like you're like p- reading the crowd. You start playing things that everybody knows. You know, mm-hmm. safe things like I like Top to play 40. dance stuff. Okay. Like I love playing like. And now everybody likes what I get thrown, doesn't matter who they are. Correct. But yes. I like old school hip hop is always a win. I love old school. A hip-hop. classic hip hop song, a What's classic, classic reggae. What's a classic hip hop song? Like what? There's so many. Like you hit top of your head. Down like, here, like back that ass up is a winner. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that one's always a winner. Wilder. But that one's not a that's not a one you start with. Yes. That's when that's a peak. That's at the yeah. peak. Yeah. Yeah. So tipsy. like so like, you know, you always want to play some classic reggae, classic reggaeton, new reggaeton. Everybody loves Bad Bunny. Yeah, like, Bad you could uh, play three Bad Bunny songs in a row. Yeah, I won't. Yeah. I won't do it. But I seen it work. <laughs> <laughs> but like you could do, and then you know, and then you also want to play like the new popular hip hop. Okay. And then sometimes people like house too. So what I like to do is mix house and hip hop songs because people know the songs, and house has a high energy. Yeah. yeah. So also the secret about DJing is BPMs. So BPMs is beats per minute that yep. matches your yep. heart rate. Oh. So you gotta if you go to a party or somewhere and you notice that the whole time the DJ sucks and no one's really moving. Yes. They're not reading the crowd and they're not um, yeah. using BPM correctly. And that's something I learned throughout the time too. It's like a come up. Like you start chill in the beginning of the party and you see people kind of starting to bop. They got to drink a little. They got to yeah. warm up. Then you get to the peak. Now everyone's lit. Yeah, you can't yeah, yeah, yeah. fail the peak. Now yeah, they're on the peak, true. so now you gotta really turn it yeah. up. Yeah. And then and now everyone's really lit. That's when yeah. you get people super drunk. You gotta be careful with the power <laughs> of a DJ. No, it's you true. are uh, the they call it right, vibe right? controller. It's You're true. controlling the vibe <laughs> you of the, the club, room. Like, so yeah, then you, you gotta the help people come down a little bit. The but shit. honestly, I get I get everybody lit to the end. Just, I go that hard. That was a problem working together because I'll be singing instead of working yeah. as a bartender. I I miss working with you. I miss when she's the bartender. Because I'll get on the mic too and. I'm good at MC. Some DJs are scared of MCing. I'll yeah. MC. I MC a little less because in the beginning I was still an artist with mm-hmm. it. So I was always on the mic. And sometimes that's too much. <laughs> yes. So now <laughs> I've kept it real cool. Yeah, you've been somewhere in the Bro, DJs talking to No, no, no. Much. We went to, because no we do names, mechanical no bulls names. and uh, no. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bro, the DJ was, we were there for what, five hours? Five hours. Five, Bro, the whole four hours. He was MC on the mic. I was like, it's Whoa. too much. It cuts the song. What was he doing? We like, we did not. He was talking. just talking. We didn't. We did not hear one song completely. Bro, no. I kid you not. One. That's song. annoying. I was like, <laughs> 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 yeah. And sometimes, because sometimes the DJ be lit. I slowed down on like when I'm DJing I drink less because when I first started I was like a fool out of a cage like I was like wah lit shots wah let's go wah. and then like it started affecting me too <laughs> they're like yo, yo 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 you're the DJ you're the <laughs> DJ go back so now now there's a formula like that was baby Keza okay. I'm like seasoned Keza now <laughs> so I know like when to chime in <laughs> when to do some shout out when to tell people to get lit when to tell people to get shots I always shout out my bartenders because that's your they're part of the party yeah. you know if the people bartenders are like, getting lit yeah. right and you want to take care of them because then they'll be happy and they'll be nice to the people because they're part of the vibe too that if the true. bartenders are not vibing Aww. then the crowd's not going to be vibing because they're going to be you know, the bartenders upset are the yeah. Beach, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah and then they're not <laughs> going to want to stay correct no you're right you're right yeah you're so like right. you, it's like a whole team effort it's like a like that's why I'm not just a DJ I have an entertainment so company. you're the team leader yeah, yeah. basically like, yeah. like the vibes have to be right it's a big thing it all for connects. me yeah so yeah, that's that's, that's how hot. it goes. Yeah. So like to piggyback like from you said like bartenders like you know, we're in, I want to talk about bartenders now. <laughs> if we can, yeah yeah, 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 if we can. So like, what do you like? So for an example, like, how do you like? How much 
do you, like what was the biggest amount that you ever received as a bartender? Jesus Ooh. Like in one day, like in you just night. I know you got to remember that. Is that one time you're just like holy shit, like She's like I've, I've had tip. those nights. The they were tip. nights. Biggest, biggest tip. tip. And then how the most you've made in one day being a, a bartender, either. server, whatever it is. Yeah. Because I know you remember those days. Yeah, you got I was, to. I was a server at Hungry Howie's one time. I remember <laughs> in Miami, I made like a G took a video. Yeah. shift. Oh, wow. A grand and one shift. But that doesn't happen all the time. No. Right. But that was still. just a lucky moment. Like I had landed a really dope hotel job in Miami bartending. Yeah. And for some reason, they made this agreement with this party promoter that they'll bring people and they'll bring bottles. They just need the venue. And yeah. I'll just pour it up and get tipped. Oh. Oh. And it was crazy. The money I made, I was like, this is like, it feels like robbery. Like, I was making <laughs> mad money during that time. And every city's different. Yeah, every True. city has. But that, those kind of gigs, they, they don't last long. Correct. <laughs> they're, yeah, like, they're like hit and run. Yeah, so what's like the most... You ever made one? Hers was a G. Yeah. What do you think? Don't lie, let's yeah. A G. A G. A grand. One night. In one night. Yeah, those That's are good sick. nights. They That's come nice. once in a blue. Damn. But it also depends. You gotta, you know, you gotta work your way up. Like yeah, you yes, started yes, from yes. Wing House, and then you start the nightclubs, and mm-hmm. then you want you want the nightclub downtown. Then mm-hmm. you want yeah. the, you know, you work your way up. Yeah. And this is asking questions. Hey, you need a bartender. You need a bartender. I got lucky where um, actually sombreros. I wanted to work there forever. And when I was younger, I'm not Mexican, so I never been. Oh. But I'm just what? thinking. Wait, I'm wait, thinking. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 wait. You're not Mexican? No. What? What are you? Wait, what are you? Wait, no wait. way. <laughs> no, which is, which is dope, but I don't know. I always <laughs> I assume. I thought she was Mexican. <laughs> because <laughs> I'm out. You, cra- you, you <laughs> crashed Listen, your dream you gotta, right now. You got to go where the money is. And I'm sorry, Mexicans and Latinos, Yo, they got money. Yeah, they're not, motivated. Yeah. So they're not educated. Educ- no, no, no. What she's trying to say is they're not educated. They're brilliant. <laughs> no, she's trying to spend no, their money. No, no, I'm taking all their money. No, let me tell you. Like, Mexicans are hardworking. They have money. They just kind of like some don't know where to put it or like, how like, 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 no, no, I don't charge much horse. to be a I don't I'm charge much <laughs> no but they spend a lot of money on alcohol so I'm thinking if I'm gonna be a bartender where do I wanna go I wanna go to Mexicans cause they drink yeah, correct they drink, drink 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 and they make good money I'm sorry construction is money correct yeah. so even though people don't know but you know they wear boots and sombreros but those are expensive oh yes. my god Gee, me yeah. being Ecuadorian I don't know that me being from New Jersey I don't know that You're those ostrich Jersey? yeah I'm, so I, this country this, the sombreros Som- like I'm, I don't know about this culture I'm no. learning about it those ostrich boots cost more than Jordans mm, so yes. girls are looking at Jordans like oh he got them J's oh those ostrich <laughs> yeah. boots with a matching ostrich belt <laughs> with a matching ostrich <laughs> hat like, are those sombreros ostrich? Yeah. <laughs> so what Jordans? What Jordans? Also- Sorry. So as a bartender, <laughs> I'm looking hilarious. money. I'm looking the size of the venue. How yeah. how many people? The who are drinking? What kind of drinkers? Yeah. Who are spending money? And I wanted to work at some so long. Everyone was like, oh, my God, don't work there. It's ghetto. It's ghetto. Blah. And I said, I don't give a fuck if it's ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> they are drinking. They're partying. And they're having a good time. They're spending and money. They're, they're spending money. money. They're spending they money. And money that's all that matters. Spend. And there's no, there's really no issues like that. It's obviously it's when you run into somebody you don't know. Like, so Whatever. what's like the, like, okay. So being a woman, being a bartender, even like at a place at a nightclub, what's something that you feel like, like, that they have to like women have to prepare for as being a bartender and being a woman at you know um, a nightclub. Like you what get are some hit things? on a lot. Yeah, like every single. Person. Like how do you, you get like, hit every, on? All what the time. Are some some things, people are aggressive you, when they're yeah. drunk too. Like it's what annoying. are some things? How do you handle it? <sighs> Sheesh, I'll um, kick my book out. <laughs> I used to. Well, be you that can't way. because you kind of want. It you kind of have to. You have to. The hustle, yeah. They have you. You know, they have you have your fans. The guys are like, oh. So you yeah. kind of have to entertain <laughs> it a little bit. Yeah. But like, I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to give out my number. I'm sorry, or I'll be like, you can have my oh, Instagram. You have like because that. you want. Them. They keep coming to you, yeah, coming yeah, to you, yeah, and yeah. spending and spending, trying. So that's the thing. It's like, um, oh my god, how do I not get? Um, Ooh, you give it the up more, the right I know, now. I know. It's like, <laughs> like, if you give it up too easy, I'm sorry. Like, you don't get the yeah. money. So yeah. the more you play hard to get, they will continue and continue. Jeez. There you go. I've had some regulars. I, I have some regulars yeah. for years who are just 
keep going. Maybe this year. Maybe this year. And it's been already five years. Let me just say that. You gotta you gotta know how to like you can't, you know, which sucks for dating. Yes. So props. Talk about it. Because again, they DM you because then you don't want to give your number. So you I give all right, okay, my Instagram. They DM you. What's how what's your shift? When do you work? Yep. And so guys you, don't like that. Boyfriends don't Boyfriends? Like that. Who the fuck are you texting? Who's texting you at 2 a.m.? Who's texting you at 3 a.m.? Yeah. <laughs> and it's your regulars. I'm sorry. It's, it's my regular. <laughs> it's my <laughs> fucking regulars. <laughs> They're like, yo, you up? Yeah. I've never, I've never, I've never you know? even thought about that. Like, yeah. Yes, bro, it's a thing. Cool. It's a thing. I mean, right. And so dating was hard because they'll get jealous. They don't understand. Yeah, you the, know? Hustle, the hustle. Vice it's, versa, though. Would you be the, like... Same way. No, twice. I'm a Capricorn. I'm fuck <laughs> that. No, I'm, like, I'm not. I'm a jealous bro. No. Like, I don't like shit like that. She's like bitches paying you, entertainer. That's <laughs> <laughs> but see, you know, it's hard. It's hard. It really is. And people talk. Sure. For, you're you're doing. You know, you have to you have to smile. You have to be nice. And sometimes girls are like, oh, that bitch is that bitch is flirting with everybody. That bitch talks to everybody. And it's like, no, it's customer yeah, service. I gotta money. smile. Yeah. Yeah. Customer service. There you go. So then girls start to hate. They talk shit. They're like, oh, she talked to everybody. She talked to this person. This person. I'm like, no, I'm just yeah. Working. Good bartenders get yeah. customer service. That's the hustle. Though. That's yeah. the and then hustle they'll though. tell the person who I'm talking to, oh, she's a hoe. She's this. She's that. And then the person I'm talking to is like, that's some hating ass shit. <laughs> but it's it's <laughs> real. Yeah. It's yeah. real. Yeah. So you kind of need some uh, someone with a backbone who is just like like me whatever. bartending I used to like to work with my girls yeah. okay, so okay. like you wanna you wanna hope for a good p- teammate cause you know oh that's co-workers know, though yeah that's what I'm, I'm saying. talking about you oh, the little girls. The little girls. The little girls who come for... Never well mind. see I would say that free drinks uh, you know what Happy I would <laughs> say I get cool with the girls too I try. Yeah, they might be But jealous. I'm sorry. You try, they, but then there's some that There's jealous. some girls, like, that, there's get some girls that come for free. Yeah. No, that's true. They don't that's tip true. on purpose and yeah. all that. Yeah. yeah. So that's the other question. Because, okay, so both of you guys are bartenders. So given the years that you guys have been bartenders, who do you think tips more, men or women? It depends. Sometimes gir- girls in the industry tip good. Yeah. When other girls work, this is for me. I don't know yeah. if your answer is gonna be different, but for service industry chicks, like they'll come in and they'll like oh, yeah. have a long day, and they'll be like, and they'll like your energy, and like you take a shot with them, and they're like, fuck yeah, I love you, bitch, and then they'll tip really good. <laughs> yeah, because I do that. Like when I like I went out last night and had dinner after my DJ gig, and the bartender, she was so. Dope. Always shout over, out to Carissa at Selva Grill. Ooh. She was Selva like, Grill. Yeah, I love that place. But she was so sweet, and we had such a great conversation. And like, I tipped her fat. Like, I was like, Man, I had a good night tonight. She just had a crazy hurricane situation in her place with surprised. electricity. And so I was like, I'm gonna make sure, like, because she said she had such a stressful week, I threw her a fat tip. Like, you'd be yeah. surprised, like, just like if you're tip based, like, I can't say this enough. And this is for me because I used to work tip based, I used to work at a car wash. Yeah. So it's like for me, but like, anyway, like, if you're tip based, Cause we I, mean, I love I love tipping when I have like, and Brian will tell you if I have a couple of drinks in me and I feel good, and like I feel you, like you give me a good experience, I tip good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like and it's and it's like exp- like experience is so important, especially if you work at a tip based job. Yeah. You can't be like you can't take I always say this like you can't take, like, you can't take home to work. Like yeah. as soon as you walk in, you clock in. Whatever you happened before, yeah. you have to leave it. I could have yeah. been through a breakup. Because you, you can feel the vibe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What can I get for you? For real, that's for you. hard. The customer will feel the vibe. Yeah. Anytime yeah. you make a customer feel good, that's when they take it out of that wallet and they're like, yo, bop, 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 bop. There's some men, like going back to the tip things, men tip good too. Like once you have your regulars, but for me, what my challenge was was being a therapist. Like I'm not trying oh, to be your God. therapist. Oh, so you can't do that. I, I hate, that's why that's I got like the most out of it. Part. No, that's why I got out of it because I was good at it it's at draining. some point for <laughs> a long draining. time. But then it's draining, and then I'm like, bro, I don't feel like talking to this man yes. today. And then your tip will get affected, it and is. then you're like, man. Fuck this shit. I'm yeah. out. So from like <laughs> restaurant bartending, it's a little slower. So when yeah. when you I talk like to them, you do get a bigger tip. So clubs is fast. I don't got time to talk to you. You can't you. What do you, you want? I don't got time yeah. to talk. So I love clubs. It is draining, so I, I stopped with the restaurant bartending because I just I don't want to talk. I just want to make a yeah. What do you want? We're what do you both, want? We're, but we just had that conversation the other day. Yeah. Because I'm pretty much out of it. Like if I go into get uh, like a quick gig, I do serving tables right now. Even though I miss bartending, but. I'll serve tables because it's a quick, like, let me get your order, give you your food, get my tip, and bounce. Because I'm focusing on other things right now. Yeah. Right. But when bartending was my main gig, like, I enjoyed, um, like, loud music venues or, like, that. Like, because so you don't have to talk. I don't have to talk. Yeah. Because we were talking about how oh, you draining that gets. 
Yeah. You good? Like, what? I'm busy right now. Right? I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you. I'll be right Drink's right. awesome. Yeah. 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 So, sorry, you're in the way. They won't order a drink. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. how you like brush them off. You can when it's so busy. So what about you, Melissa? Like, do guys or do guys or girls tip more for you? <sighs> I have more guys, <laughs> customers, more. so I, right. I do get more bigger tips from guys. But when there's girls, and it's like, it's funny at Sombrero's, like we're standing in our stations, yep. so you can tell. The girls go that way or they go that way. They don't oh. come this way. But the girls that do come this way, you know, they they do show love. Gotcha. Like yeah. uh, some rettles, like the girls, they got money and they're like, shot shots and they pay. And I'm just yeah. like, okay. That's what I'm saying. Like sometimes the girls are better than guys sometimes. Yeah. They show a lot of Because there's a lot of boss bitches out here right now. That's what I'm saying. There's there's a that's, lot. that's why we wanted yeah. to bring you girls on. There's a lot. A lot of girls And we, we understand like show support. Yes. There's a lot of women empowerment going on right now because for yeah. a long time girls used to be very jealous of each other. They probably still are, but I feel like now more so everybody's like showing love. Like, mm-hmm. oh, she cute, you cute, what's up? Hey, I like your yeah. vibe. Like, girls are just a little bit changing their mindset. You know, I feel like I've seen that. Yeah, They're they still do. haters, they the but yeah. But right now, I think people are more open to being like she inspires me for sure. I want to rock like that or like she cool like I like her energy like for sure. people I think are being a little better at that right mm. for the most well, part but there's still haters there's yeah. always gonna be haters yeah. maybe I don't have time for haters so I don't clock them yeah. like I probably have them <laughs> and I hear about them sometimes but yeah. I don't even put energy into that so I don't even care so like mm. alright we're coming up to about an hour, an hour so just oh, to kind of finish up right so Right, you were 17. You said you were, you know, um, you were a mom at 17. You were young. So just to kind of finish up and to kind of like put like an exclamation point to this podcast, what advice do you think you would give a young woman? Go for your money. Your money first. Put yourself first. I think when we're in our 20s, we're thinking about when am I going to get married? Who am I going to marry? That we're not thinking about our money. That's where I messed up. That's why I started late. I was trying to have a family because I I was a single mom. So I was looking for stepdaddy. And I regret it because I wasted my whole time trying to build somebody else, fix their credit, get them to buy a house. When I'm like, I could have done that myself. Mm. And again, with the bartending jealousy, I couldn't bartend no more. I was depending on a man. Oh. Horrible. Like, and, you know, I couldn't work. I couldn't do nothing. So I was depending on him to grow. And I said, fuck that. Did my own thing. Did thing. Left. Started from zero. I had no money. Lived in my mom's house. I worked five, six jobs. Hustled. And psh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. The hustle. What? And it was in a cap- in yeah. like four years. I love your story. For in sure. four years. That's sick. That's I'm like a lot almost can happen. Have, in yeah, five a lot years can happen in four years. years. And you never know what opportunities are out there. And it could be overwhelming when you're hustling, but you meet one person who could bring you to another person. And another Networking person. Networking is big. Networking. Ooh, like I go. was working at Wing House and I got offered a job to bartend here. I got. A, I was working at Wing House and I got offered to bartend at uh, Sombrettos. Wow. And when the manager was like, I work at Sombrettos, I was like. <gasps> I've been wanting to work here. <laughs> and he's like, but everyone was with a negative. Ne- don't pe- don't listen to negativity. Listen when to people the, are yeah. saying, don't work there, don't work Protect there. There's a reason. Portals. Yeah. So I, because I, I wanted to work at Sombrero since I was like 20. Like when I heard about it, because yeah. I'm like, Mexicans drink. It's huge. <laughs> Fuck yeah. And then here comes a manager. 10 years later, th- I've been wanting to work at Sombrero from like yeah. 10 years ago. And he's like, we need a bartender. I said, let's go. Damn. And then I got another job offer for bartending in downtown Sarasota from, from working at Wing House. And I was like, bet. So there was that one point where it was overwhelming. But you have to, like, do everything. Work hard. It's only for a little bit. And then little by little, you drop the leak of swing. It's like only for link. a little bit. Yeah. Then I you know, let go of Wing Invest House. Invest in real estate early. This, and then, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. Find other and ways to not work so work smarter, not yeah. harder. For sure. Ooh, You're gonna have to work start smarter. somewhere, of course. But like, and that's where I would come in. And my best advice is save, because I, advice. when I was younger, did not save. She know my girl, me and her, we know each we other since high together. school. Oh, wow. We went to college together. Yeah, we got yeah, really close school. during that time. Yeah. And then um, I moved around a lot. But when I came back home, and then she moved too, and she came back home, we reconnected. And I also want to shout her out because she is the reason why I started DJing, too. She's the one that leaked me in. But, like, you know, I would say I was really bad with saving. So I would say that's a big thing. Like, work hard because I bust my ass all the time. I always have three to four jobs, too. And it's like, but don't just spend it. Like, put it away. Invest. Find investments. Also, like, remember, you could do your own IRAs and you could do your own health insurance. You don't have to be stuck somewhere you're not happy 
You know, or if you are somewhere you're not happy, have an end goal. Mm -hmm. Take that money and be like, okay, I'm going to take this money and I'm going to invest in here so I can slowly get out of that. So I would just say, like, always have a plan and save. Always have a plan. Yeah. Get get two nails, get an LLC, do lashes. You're working to live. That's all you're doing. Yeah, you don't want to work to live. You want to have an end goal. You want to live. You want to have purpose. Because I feel like a lot of, too, like, being, like, before, like, in this generation is different, but before it's like, a lot of of women and a lot of girls, they didn't have purpose. Like you said, like, their purpose was just build a family, be a wife. Like, mm-hmm. it's just like now you guys can be independent. You guys can do your own thing. You guys have your own dreams and goals yeah. and aspirations. And there's nothing wrong with that either. Like, yeah. but it will I come. still want a family yeah, it'll come. It will come. Yeah. But that's in but addition you do to, have to like, love you yourself. Both. Like, you don't only have to do, you don't only have Balance. to be that. Yeah. Put yourself first. You know, when you're independent and you're making your own money, you're like a whole different person. Like, you blossom and it, attract, it attracts certain yes, people. So sure. that's where you meet. Build your shine. Someone on your level or someone right. you learn from. Like, if you're just a broke ass bitch trying to look for somebody with money like yeah okay some people it happens they it's find lucky. it like they yeah but there's guys who there I, mean, I guess there's still some guys who want you know a housewife there's some of that so if you might get lucky yeah, you might get lucky and that. find a guy <laughs> and might find a guy yeah. this is a different generation now but you don't might depend on that don't yeah. depend on that no, 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 don't no, depend no, on that no. like Put find your first. shine find, find your what shine. makes you you cuz we all been given talents and gifts for sure. so if you find what makes you happy and find a way to make money doing that that's, yeah. that's 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 you attract, that's life you attract right there to me. People. That's happiness right yeah. there. If you can make money doing what you love, that's dope. For sure. All yeah. right, well, ladies, I think this is it. This is the end of the podcast. Any uh, closing, uh, Brian? You got any closing uh, comments or anything? No, not really. I mean, yeah. they've said everything they had to. So this is really good. Yeah, yeah, I feel honestly, like I this is like this <laughs> I know it's <laughs> a lot. We didn't even like get to. We, we didn't even get to all the topics. Right? Yeah. Like buying houses and investing. But you know what? That sets up. A part two For sure Because we're going to have to Schedule you guys in Also to like Do a part two Get Because down it's, it's, We could bring some more girls business. With us more too girls, More girls yeah, yeah, whatever. Whatever. More I could bring my home girl who, who like you know oh, She you bought get, the house Yeah the, we, sure. Yeah Perfect example, so uh, the, our viewers can can see. All that my it's not all my just girls pretty much have their own business. Like I got a makeup artist friend, photographer friend, look at that, look at that. hairstylist, and they all run their own businesses, and we all support each other. I have a friend that does like Botox and and all that. Oh, I want to have a, I want to have a Botox. Oh, yeah, we can have a, we can have just like a ladies' night and bring all these girls. Yo, I'm down. Because yeah, we all support each other. Like keep the money in the family. Like yeah, I'm gonna go to my girl that does hair. I'm gonna go to my girl that does that's makeup. Too. I'm gonna go to my girl bartender. I'm gonna show love because the money comes back. Because they're gonna be like, oh, I got. A DJ, I got a realtor. They're gonna recommend me. Like, gotta keep your network strong. For sure, for sure. Yeah. yeah. And then talking about uh, talking about DJ, I think we found uh, our DJ for our party. Oh, yeah. party! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you, uh, this is exclusive right here. We're actually gonna have. To, we're we're gonna throw a connect podcast party. Oh, wow. oh that's so good. we're gonna we're gonna talk to you and we're gonna throw a big party end of the Bring year the party. So. I would love to DJ that. Here, sure. yeah. here, yeah, yeah we're gonna here. do yeah. here. Yeah. So Boom. all right, let's do it. So go ahead with your Instagrams. Tell them where One to find you. Time. Credit repair. Like fucking credit tell, repair. Them, yeah. tell them everything. Tell um, them everything and then you say your Instagram. On, you can find me on Facebook, Melissa Alvarez. You can DM me. Um, Instagram. I don't really promote. I promote the more health on Instagram for sure. But I'm. Uh, you can DM me still there. At, S A Melissa Alvarez E S A Melissa Alvarez. All right, go ahead. Um, DJ, so my DJ. my DJ uh, platform is Nat Keza N A T K E Z A. Yeah, DJ Keza. <laughs> um, literally Nat Keza. If you search Nat Keza on anything, I pop up. Um, and then Spotify? for my everything. Whoa. Nat okay. Keza. I got I got I got so, mixes on SoundCloud and Spotify. Wait, do we have your permission to use your music in the? <gasps> yeah, you guys can use it. Yeah. <laughs> And then I have my own original music too. So anything well, that's that what has we're gonna a, use the original. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna use, yeah, use the original. That's cool. Yeah, you know? that's cool. Because again, we're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it. No, we'll figure something out. No, we'll it's cool. I know. I'm just kidding. I love the support. Do your Man. thing. Right. But like anything that has you find for my music, and then for my real estate, um, it's Keys with Natasha, K E Y S with Natasha, and that's on everything too. You Google Keys with Natasha, and I pop up. So your name is Natasha. Yeah. Because I Natasha, aka Nat. Natasha. A.K.A. DJ. Is it not Natasha? A.K.A. Nat Keza? A.K.A. DJ Keza? DJ A.K.A. Keys with Natasha. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. This for coming. We had so much fun. It's part one. Part one. Part one. Part two. We didn't even Because if not, it's going to be three. We did. We talked a lot about this We were talking about relationships and shit. All right. Close it up, Christian. Close it up. Okay, bet. Well, thank you guys for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. 
give us a comment and we're going to link their information underneath so if you guys have any problems with your credit you can we have somebody here that's going to help you out mm -hmm. if you want uh, a realtor if you're looking to buy a house you wait not even if you're looking to buy a house if you don't have a house just message her and you can get a jump start like they said the just see where you're at and then track the process, mm -hmm. all right? Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, and then, as you know, we're gonna we're gonna basically put all the information. And uh, thank you guys for watching.